Welcome to the session in which we are going to learn acute rheumatic fever. So let us start with this. First of all, what is the definition of this disease? It is a multi-systemic disorder. That means it involves more than one organs and it is a result of autoimmune reaction to an infection. This infection is basically a throat infection or upper respiratory tract infection and it is caused by a bacteria known as group H streptococci and most of its manifestation they resolve completely but it may leave cardiac valvular damage and that is known as rheumatic heart disease what is the pathogenesis so what is the demography or what are the susceptible population that it in, it uh, infects so it is most commonly seen in children of 5 to 14 years of age and it is rare above 30 years of age group and females are usually more affected compared to male individuals. Genetic predisposition. We have seen that HLA-DR7 and HLA-DR4 uh, are more susceptible than the rest of the population. Now, how does this infection lead to this autoimmune multisystemic disorder? So there is upper respiratory tract infection with group A streptococci and there are specific serotypes of M proteins which are responsible for this. This infection damages the heart by two mechanisms. First is the toxins and enzymes, especially the streptococcus bacteria has an enzyme known as pyrogenic exotoxin. So streptococcal pyrogenic exotoxin and uh, enzyme that is streptolysin O. Uh, we can even call it as toxin also. And these two toxins, they directly damages the heart. The second mechanism which is very important that the streptococcus in its cell wall has many structures which resembles human tissues so whenever we mount an immune response or we develop antibodies against the streptococcus infection then these antibodies will also react with the similar kinds of human tissue antigen that we have and this is known as molecular mimicry and that results in immunity against self that is known as autoimmunity and that leads to this multisystemic autoimmune disorder Clinical features. So incubation period is usually three weeks following this uh, upper respiratory tract infection by group A streptococcus. And we are using a particular criteria that is modified Jones criteria of 2015. And for that, we first have to decide uh, what are the major criteria and what are the minor criteria. So if it is the first episode or initial ARF is there, then we either need two major or one major and two minor. But if it is a repeated episode, then even three minor can also be used. <laughs> so what are these major criteria? So first one is either clinical and subclinical carditis, that is involvement of heart. Second is chorea, that is involuntary movement due to brain involvement. Third is erythema marginatum, that is uh, skin rash. Then subcutaneous nodules. And finally, we have arthritis. Now here, um, if it is high risk population, then monoarthritis or polyarthralgia uh, is to be considered but if it is a low risk population then polyarthritis is needed now what is included in minor criteria first is fever or hyperpyrexia that is more than 38 degrees centigrade or high ESR or high CRP or even both and prolonged PR interval on ECG and joint pain that is known as arthralgia so monoarthralgia in high risk and for low risk we need polyarthralgia so these are the uh, very important criteria to stamp this acute rheumatic fever. Now treatment uh, for this condition we can give antibiotics and penicillin, pyroral or amoxicillin for 10 days is sufficient or you can give a single dose 1.2 million units of intramuscular benzathine penicillin. For arthritis, joint pain and fever the supportive treatment in form of aspirin is sufficient. Prevention. The primary prevention that is to give a complete and timely treatment of sore throat caused by group A streptococcus with either penicillin uh, or any other antibiotic like macrolides within the nine days of onset. The secondary prevention that means already you have minimum one episode of ARF then immediately you should start a secondary preventive antibiotic so that future episodes can be uh, prevented in form of intramuscular benzathine penicillin G uh, every four weeks or daily you should give penicillin twice a day or erythromycin once a day per oral. 
duration for how long you should give this uh, so that depends on the condition of heart if there is no carditis then it is to be given for five years or until 21 years of age if it is carditis with valvular damage then it is up to 10 years or uh, up till 20 years of age and if it is with valvular damage carditis then it is for 10 years or up to 40 year of age now between these two timelines whichever is longer is to be followed so that's how uh, we can learn about this infection so i hope you liked it and understand this concept clearly follow for a more uh, series uh, in these sessions and we will re i will regularly post uh, such videos in our channel so subscribe to it so that you get regular updates about it thank you very much for joining